Please be seated. <coughs> to start this speech, I figured I'd begin with your usual cliche welcome, so here it goes. I want to welcome and thank everyone for coming tonight. I also want to thank the faculty and staff here for everything they've done for us while we're here, whether we liked it or not. <laughs> and I want to apologize on my half for sometimes being kind of a pain in class. I also want to thank God for everything he's done, because without him, we'd be nothing. When I started writing this speech, I wasn't quite sure where to start, but after a little while of thinking, a piece of a Luke Bryan song came to mind. It goes, just thinking about all our good times together and how we rocked this town, and I wish it could last forever and ever. Oh, but the sand runs out and we roll back home, and just thinking about how this is our last song. I can't speak for everyone here, but for me, Loretta High School was four of the best years of my life. This song to me describes our high school experience. I would love to stay around here with all my friends forever, but like the song says, the sand runs out and we roll back home and just think about how this is our last song. Our sand has run out tonight. Here on this field is our last song. We will, go all, we will all go our separate ways and make our mark somewhere, whether it be straight into work or to college of some sort. I know my fellow classmates will do big things for this world. Growing up with all of you has been a blessing and I wouldn't trade what I've been given for the world. Congratulations to the class of 2015, and thank you. <clears throat> I'd now like to ask my other class officers to come forward to present the composite to the school. Good evening. It is indeed a, an honor to be here this evening with these graduating seniors to be a part of this celebration with, with you guys and with your parents, grandparents and friends and guests that are here tonight for the 2015 graduation ceremonies here at Loretta High School. Uh, we are gathered here this evening to recognize the accomplishments of the class of 2015, but I'd like to take a moment, and if you've been to any graduations over the last seven years, you'll know what I'm going to ask right now. I'd like for the parents and the grandparents of these seniors to please stand and remain standing for one moment, please. Seniors, look around, find your parents, find your grandparents, uh, give them whatever that special sign is that tells them how much you love them and appreciate them and all the work they've done over the years. Uh, they've loved you when you haven't been lovable at times and they've done everything they could to, to help you make it through and to be here tonight. So how about joining me with a round of applause for these parents and grandparents. Thank you, parents. Thank you, grandparents. Be seated. Seniors, I want to wish you good luck and say God bless you as, as you begin this next journey in life tonight. Congratulations to you. Good evening, seniors, parents, family members, and friends. Graduation is a very special time. It's a time to celebrate your accomplishments, but also a time to reflect upon your Loretta High School journey. Four years ago, you all entered the halls of LHS so full of spirit. Many of you were nervous and scared, but you were full of such excitement. That excitement was very evident when so many of you participated in all the activities of homecoming your freshman year and have continued it since. You are all so proud to finally be a Loretta High School Mustang. For most of you, that excitement has carried throughout the past four years and on to this day. You are so excited to graduate, but some are a little sad and anxious about your next step. But then again, why wouldn't you be sad to leave? Where else can you find teachers who will dance in a flash mob, play musical chairs, write mean tweets about themselves, lip sync to old songs, record a parody of Shake It Off, and embarrass themselves playing powder puff football? You've been privileged to have had the best teachers and most caring staff with you on this journey these past four years. 
They've laughed with you, cried with you, and celebrated with you. And I know they have prepared you with the ability to make all of your dreams come true. But that has to start with you, seniors. Don't be scared to dream, and more importantly, don't be scared to follow those dreams wherever they may take you. I believe in all of you. Everyone sitting behind me believes in you, and everyone sitting in these stands believes in you. But it is up to you to turn into someone great. The future is now in your hands. Remember the world is what you choose to make it. You can choose what kind of person you will be. I hope you will choose to be ambitious and determined, but also compassionate and caring to others. Never sell yourself short or think you aren't capable of achieving all of your goals, even when others tell you you can't. Take advantage of all the opportunities before you and never ever forget where you came from. Remember you are a Mustang and you can do whatever you put your mind to. And also remember, we will all always be here cheering you on. I hope the past four years here at LHS have been full of great memories, great friends, and most of all, the preparation for a bright future. May your years ahead be full of success, aspiration, and purpose. May you always lead by example and work to the best of your ability. We all wish you all that you so richly deserve in life. It has been an honor and a privilege to have been your principal these past four years. I'm so very proud of all of you. Good luck in all that you do. Congratulations, seniors. At this time, we will recognize groups of seniors for several accomplishments that they have achieved over the past four years. At this time, we would like to recognize those who are graduating with honors. These students have met all four benchmarks on their ACT test. They are marked in the program. Will these students graduating with honors please stand and be recognized? We also want to recognize the students who are graduating with distinction. These students have either taken 12 hours of dual enrollment credit or made an overall 31 on their ACT test. They are marked also in the program. Will these students please stand and be recognized? Tonight, students who are graduating cum laude are wearing a white stole. Those students have achieved a 91 to 94 overall grade point average over the past four years. Will the students graduating cum laude please stand and be recognized? Students who are graduating magna cum laude have achieved a 95 to 97 overall grade point average over the past four years. Will the students graduating magna cum laude please stand and be recognized? <laughs> students who are graduating summa cum laude have achieved a 98 to 100 overall grade point average over the past four years. Will the students graduating summa cum laude please stand? I would now like to recognize another group of students, the Tennessee Scholars. In order to be recognized as a Tennessee Scholar, students have to have met high academic achievements and also community service requirements. Will the students who have met the requirements of the Tennessee Scholars Program please stand? <laughs> Our seniors have received scholarships to four-year universities, two-year college, and technical and vocational schools. They include academic scholarship, leadership, athletic, and vocational scholarships. Will each student who has received a scholarship this year please stand and be recognized? <laughs> In 
And at this time, we have one more scholarship presentation from the Ernest family. Congratulations, seniors, and congratulations to the teachers and faculty who have helped you get here tonight. We're pleased to be here tonight to award the Deborah Moore Ernest Scholarship. Deborah loved Loretta High School. She graduated from LHS, then attended the University of Alabama before returning home to Loretta to teach. Deborah was not merely a teacher. She coached, sponsored many clubs and activities, and participated in all sorts of community and school events. She loved everything about Loretta High School. During this time of the year, Deborah was one of the teachers who made sure graduation and all the activities surrounding graduation, she made sure they were special occasions. She ensured that graduation night was a time to honor the graduates, their families, and friends who attended. After graduation, Deborah could she could be found running the bouncing Betsy at the drug-free graduation party and having as much fun as the newly graduated seniors. Everyone called Deborah Miss E. The criteria for this scholarship depicts the expectations Miss E had for herself and students. Deborah didn't expect all students to make straight A's. She expected them to work hard and do their best. Deborah also wanted students to develop a love for Lodetta High School. She wanted them to feel the pride she felt for LHS and for them to represent the best of Loretta High as she did in her daily life. She wanted students to work hard, but also have fun and participate in extracurricular activities. Deborah knew that this participation developed life skills for students by teaching them to get along with others and how to develop a sense of belonging and enjoyment while completing a task. She encouraged students to take part in activities like dressing up during homecoming week, participating in class tournaments, and joining clubs. She thought every student could find their place at, at LHS. She had high expectations and didn't want students to, be, students to be slackers. Deborah also expected students to show respect to the faculty and staff as well as fellow students. Another attribute Deborah wanted to see in students was good character. She wanted students to treat each other equally, stand up for what was right, even if it made them unpopular, and to consider the consequences of their actions before acting. This year, the committee has selected two recipients for this scholarship. We believe the committee has met Deborah's expectations with both of the candidates. At this time, would Ellie Davis and Miles Burks please come forward to be honored as the 2015 Deborah Moore Ernest Scholarship recipients. Good evening. I'd like uh, to congratulate the Loretta High School class of 2015 for your reaching this milestone in your life. Our best wishes are with you. My name is Grant Ernest and this is my sister Patsy Michael. We're tonight here to present the Rusty Ernest Memorial Scholarship in memory of our brother Rusty. Rusty was a 1978 graduate of Loretta High School. During his life he made a lasting impression on many people. Those who knew him would testify that Rusty was a giver and cared greatly and deeply for others. This scholarship tonight is based on the characteristics of giving and caring. Due to a generous donor, we're able to give two scholarships of $750 each. This year's recipients of the Rusty Ernest Memorial Scholarships are Demetria Busby and Logan Nunley.
Folks, that's a hard group to follow. Uh, I'm here tonight to present the Holman Medal. The Holman Medal is given each year in honor uh, to the outstanding senior at Loretta High School. This award is given as an honor to Willie and Ethel Holman uh, by their children. Aunt Ethel and Uncle Willie uh, did not go to high school, just barely graduated, finished elementary school, but they had five children and they instilled in those children the desire to excel and, and do well in all phases of life. Uh, all of their children received, were outstanding students here at Loretta High School, both academically and athletic, athletically, and all of them uh, received college degrees. I think two or three of them have doctorates and are in uh, teaching in college today. Uh, they uh, decided in 1998-99 to honor their parents, and this year's winner is Delaney Gillespie. Good evening. I would like to first say thank you to every person here tonight. Parents, grandparents, friends, and teachers. Everyone here has contributed in some way to make this moment happen for us, the graduates, and for that, we owe you our sincere gratitude. This is an important moment for us. We are seated here on the threshold of the real world, faced with the vast uncertainty and possibility of the future, and I think we would be lying if we said it isn't daunting. Since this is the last time we will all be gathered together like this, and the first time I've ever had the opportunity to address you all at once, I would like to share a story with you all. It is the story of the bridge builder. One evening, an elderly man is traveling along a path when suddenly he reaches a dangerous river that blocks his way. He is not frightened, however, and he crosses the water without difficulty. But when he gets to the other side, rather than continuing on his way, he turns and begins to build a bridge back across the water. A man who is standing nearby notices this and speaks up. What are you doing, he cries. You have already passed through the water without a problem and can resume your journey. Why are you wasting time building this bridge? The old man turns to him and replies, others will use this same path and meet the water as I did, others who are perhaps younger or less experienced than me. This river that was not an obstacle for me could be treacherous to them, and so I'm building the bridge for them. The story of the bridge builder is one about legacy and what it means to leave a mark on this world. The old man chooses to correct a problem he sees in the world, not for himself, but for those who will come after him. The reason this is important to me, and the reason it is important to you, my fellow classmates, is because we have reached the time in our lives where we must step up and become bridge builders ourselves. We must now lay aside our childish notions and accept the great responsibility that God has prepared for us to build bridges so that others may cross them in the future. The fate of this country in which we are so privileged to live depends upon our ability to pave the road for future generations. All of the freedom and opportunity that we are able to enjoy has been handed down from generation to generation since this nation's birth. It was handed down to us, and now it is our turn to hand it down. We do this task together, but it will be different for everyone. God has different bridges for each of us to build, just as he has blessed each of us with different skills with which to build our bridges. Each of us has strengths and talents that differ from those around us. If you have not started yet, start listening to yourself. Learn what your abilities are and learn how you are able to influence others. If each of us were to do this, and if each of us were to use our gifts to their full capacity, there would be no limit to what we could accomplish. Ronald Reagan once said, there are no constraints on the human mind, no walls around the human spirit, no barriers to our progress except those we ourselves erect. You are your biggest obstacle. The imaginary limits that you dream up in your head are the most challenging ones you will ever have to overcome. You cannot build a bridge if you tell yourself you cannot build a bridge. So do yourself a favor and don't put walls up around your capabilities because each and every one of us has the ability to make an impact no matter how small it may seem. 
They say that since there is no atmosphere and therefore no wind on the moon, that any footprint put there remains there to this day perfectly intact. In the same way, I believe our God has designed a world in which every soul makes a lasting impact and that all the influence we make, along with every bridge we build, will remain here unaltered by time. We are footprints on the moon. So, class of 2015, here is my advice to you and to myself as well. Take the tools God has given you and build a bridge worth building. Thank you, and God bless you all. Graduates, will you please stand and come forward to receive your diploma? Kaylee Ray Allen. Hunter Mitchell Ballou. Austin Travis Clayton Bell. Austin is not with us tonight. He received his diploma earlier today. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Preston Tim Berryhill. <laughs> Autumn Leanne Bonadio. Mariah Annette Bourne. <laughs> Samuel Lee Bottoms. Austin Robert Box. Tiffany Jade Box. Anna Jane Brewer. Emma Tess Brody. Shaylee Dawn Brown. <laughs> Rachel Catherine Burden. Miles Schuyler Burks. Brianne Angelique Busby. <laughs> Demetria Renee Busby. <laughs> Abigail Diane Caldwell. Brooklyn Caitlin Clark. J. 
Jacob Don Clifton. Carly Faith Cole. Dwight Isaac Cox. Harley Roy Austin Cox. Jeremy Seth Cox. Connor Allen Davis. Eliane Davis. Alan Chase Durrett. Jesse Eugene Estes. Benjamin Tyler Farrington. Victoria Sloan Ferguson. <laughs> Cecilia Rosemary Ferk. <laughs> Bailey Travis Flat. William Luke Fleming. Carly Michelle Garland. Anna Marie Giske. Brandon Carvel Gillespie. Yeah. <laughs> Delaney Jewel Gillespie. Nicholas Kelvin Green. Ricky Dakota Hagen. Sydney Jacqueline Hallmark. Bryce Dalton Hanna. Emma Kathleen Harbison.
Matthew Thomas Hardiman. Jamie May Harlan. Charles Lane Harville. Nicholas Wade Hawk. Courtney Diane Hobbs. Katie Lynn Holloway. Kelsey Lane Holloway. <laughs> Lucas Tate Hood. Aaron Hunter Hunt. Dustin Hall Hutton. <laughs> Tyler Malik Jameson. Hunter Lee Jurgens. Jacob Marvin Joyner. <laughs> Kelly Marie Jones. <laughs> Jose Andres Juarez Hernandez. Justin Tanner Keaton. Chandler Blake Kellum. Christopher Chance Kennedy. Jordan Peyton Killen. Rebel Chance Killen. Courtney Perlane King. <laughs> Brooke Hannah Clinky. <laughs> Anthony Perry Lee. Parker Lynn Leaf. <laughs> Allie Elizabeth Littrell. <laughs> Riley Spencer Littrell.
Alyssa Leanne Luther. Caleb Seth Marks. Jameson Ridge Maddox. Josie Maria McMahon. Kelsey Stephen McMasters. Caroline Ray Medvin. Kyle Alexander Milliken. Kirsten Malie Moore. Quentin Lane Myhan. Bailey Grace Nider. Logan Nathan Nunley. Micah Joseph Perry. Ethan Shane Prince. Courtney Page Pruitt. Ethan Schuyler Purser. Mason Allen Purser. Jandria Riley Ann Reed. Kylan Stephen Rhodes. <laughs> David Anthony Roberts. Neyland Seth Russ. Matthew Daniel Ryberg. Michael Joseph Seymour. Colin Jake Sharpton. Carly Brianna Hayslip Shaw. Sabri Bailey Faith Sermones.
Brianna Faith Smith. Robert Thomas Smith. Ryan Michael Stouter. Ryan Austin Surratt. Tobias Durrell Sweeney. Joseph Wild Tidwell. Taylor Raymond White. Justin Trent Wilburn. Logan Seth Wooten. Participating in commencement exercises as a foreign exchange student with the class of 2015, Arlie Jessica Klaus. Seniors, will you please stand? <laughs> Dr. Littleton, seeing that this class has met all the standards required by the state of Tennessee for graduation, I now present them to you for your consideration. Seeing that you have met the State Department of Education requirements for graduation, I now confer on you the title of Graduates of Loretta High School. You may now move your tassel from right to left. I now present to you all the class of 2015.
Merci.